Hey, Pete, can you hear us okay? Yeah. If you don't mind, just open it up with a quick statement. Just recap the game, and then we'll have questions for you. All right. Well, uh, came out of the gates kind of real strong. Uh, they put together some really good swings on some really good pitches, and uh, we kind of fell behind, kind of pushed a little bit, try and get back in it, but then they made another little late run. But, I mean, they have a great team. And uh, sometimes just as, that's just how the cookie crumbles. We start off with Wes. Yeah, Pete. I guess you know y'all are going in there and you're you're getting in there against cops and you're you're trying to get something going. When you put that swing on that ball, are you thinking, all right, here we go again? You know, this time we're going to kind of flip this around and kind of get those guys late. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm with this team. I never feel like the game's over until it's actually over, and those umpires go back in their locker room. But uh, he just left me a pitch over the middle, and I put a good swing on it and uh, thought that might have sparked it a little bit. But uh, t hats off to him. He's a great pitcher, and he made the pitches he needed to do to finish the game. Mike is next. Yeah, Pete, just what was this experience like? I mean, the five games, five days, just the, the postseason feel. And, and was there anything different or, or new that, that you learned about this team while you guys were in Hoover? I mean, this experience was great. Uh, you could tell even after the first day, we didn't want to go home. So uh, now, now we have to because it's officially over. But uh, no, it was just a great week. Uh, and to what I learned about this team is we love playing ball together. And uh, we're going to keep fighting and give everything we got every single day. Ben is next. Pete, why do you think this team is able to lose to Alabama on Wednesday and rally with three straight wins and, and you know, compete hard with Arkansas for nine innings? Why do you think the team can overcome that adversity? Oh, we got a really good baseball team, uh, first and foremost. But uh, it's just uh, – it's always the next thing with us. Uh, we're not going to get caught up in what happened yesterday and that because that's over with. We can let it fuel us to uh, – get the, the job done on that particular day. So uh, that's how we're able to push through everything is it's always what's next. And uh, we're really good at turning the page and putting all our chips on the table. Ryan is next. So Arkansas took their first lead there in the fifth inning. Did you guys feel any extra pressure to get someone going on offense before Cops was going to get the ball or was it just kind of business as usual? Uh, it's just business as usual. Uh, every time uh, a team goes out there and puts up a couple runs, we always say uh, time to answer back. And uh, we just weren't un – we were just unable to do that today. But that's always the mindset is when someone goes out there and score, all right, we're going to give you a little jab right back and we're going to score as well. I imagine there's been some – parts of your career you maybe wouldn't have believed that this Tennessee program could be here with this many fans in this moment but what does it say about your team that you guys are here and it, it never seems like it's enough just to be in the big moment be in the big game but it's always a, a goal to push it to the next level get a big win yeah I mean you, you nailed that one it's always about the next thing what can we do next and I mean it was it was just unbelievable to look up in the stands and see that much orange uh we <laughs> I love this fan base, and they're really showing out for us, and we can kind of feed off their energy. So we're just going to go out there and give them a good show and uh, compete to the best of our ability. Troy is next. And it seems like this team's MO all season has been the ability to, to bounce back from a loss like this one. I guess what do you expect the – kind of the emotions and the mentality of this team to be heading into next week's regional. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. It just kind of seems like the MO of this team has been the ability to bounce back after a loss like today. What do you kind of think the mentality of this team will be like heading into next week's regional? Uh, just take it one game at a time. Uh, I mean, it would have been nice to win today, but it's done and over with. And now our sights are set on that uh, particular regional, and we're going to take it one game at a time and give it our best shot. Have time for two more. We'll go with Wes and Mike. Yeah, Pete, you, you just said it's kind of it's already over, and you got to flush this one now. Do you think as a team, y'all are going to do that pretty quickly? Because I mean, it's I know bus rides back after a, a loss on Sunday are never really fun, but I mean, w with so much to play for so soon, do, does the does the switch need to kind of flip quickly on this one? 
Uh, yeah, I think so. And I think uh, our team is really good at doing that. Uh, when just the entire season, after a loss, we bounce back right away. We kind of flush it immediately. You can kind of have, you know, five, ten minutes to – really reflect on what just happened, but it's always uh, flip the switch and let's get going to the next thing. Pete, what, what, would it, what would it mean for this program to get to host a regional and kind of just have that be something that I don't think you've had one since 2005 at, at Lindsey Nelson. So what would that mean? I mean, it mean everything. Uh, just to see how far this program's come in my time here, uh, it, it's something that's going to be very special uh, for me to experience. And uh, it's just something that two years ago, I mean, we were very happy with making a regional for the first time in so long, but we always knew there was more. And honestly, if we had, you know, done a little better in some games, we could have been hosting that year. So we went on the road for that regional and now it was just kind of motivation to get back at home for one and let this fan base come out and kind of be that extra motivation that we uh, need going forward. Hey, Pete, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.